Yeah. We had a baby a few years ago who was up in the tree for three weeks. She'd come down at night when she knew we had left, but she didn't want to come down because she knew she was going to get a trip to the vet. She wasn't going to get a shot or anything like that. She just didn't want to go to the vet. So she'd come down at night, and we eventually had to put tree guards over them. And we had a cub who could figure out how to get over any tree guard we put in there. She would literally look at it for a couple of minutes, figure out how to jump over it or climb over it. And the last one, it took her two days to figure it out, but she eventually got over it as well. So they're very smart animals. Bears are naturally good problem solvers. A lot of the times in the media for movies, they make them look kind of goofy, not very intelligent. Total opposite, very smart animals. And they are a bear. For years, the giant panda was thought to be related to the raccoon, like the red panda. The red panda is a red raccoon, essentially. The giant panda is a bear, though. And we've been able to prove that through DNA testing as well as just their behavior. They act like a bear. They just act like a bear who eats bamboo. So they do get protective over their space, their food, their young. Uh, they have the same maternal care that we see from other bears as well. So Bayun over here has had five babies. The first four are already in China and they're already having their own cubs. Her youngest is still here. His name is Yunza. He's two years old. Um, you can go inside by now. 